Halo is one of gaming's biggest franchises. It's been around for over 15 years now. Combat Evolved was the very embodiment of a system seller, helping push Microsoft's first console, the Xbox, into the hands of millions. But lately, for a multitude of reasons, Halo seems to be in a bit of a slump. And you could say it's going around in circles. Shut up. Last week we filmed a video about the Xbox One Scorpio's tech specs and in the script for that video, one line really got us thinking. Halo 5 sold the least amount of units in the series history. Halo 3 ODST sold more than Halo 5 did and that was a spin-off game. How the hell has it come to this? I mean Halo is Microsoft's flagship series. It was the company's first foray into console gaming back in 2001, and it proved Microsoft were an actual contender as a console manufacturer and as a game publisher. The Halo series represented the real birth of multiplayer gaming for consoles, and it started the FPS craze which is still going strong to this day. But the series itself just can't seem to move on from those former glory days. The game's creators, Bungie, left the franchise behind in 2010 after releasing their final effort, Halo Reach. They've moved on to work on the FPS MMO Lite Destiny. In response to Bungie's departure, Microsoft created 343 Industries, a company dedicated solely to making future Halo games and handling anything related to the Halo franchise. 343's first attempt was Halo 4, and it was received very well. It was a critical success, with an average rating of 87 on Metacritic, and of course, it was a commercial success as well, shipping 9.7 million copies, making it the third most successful game in the series. So, whilst riding high off the success of Halo 4, Microsoft and 343 wasted no time announcing Halo 5 Guardians. Now, Halo 5 holds a Metacritic score of 84, but broadly speaking, fans just did not have the warm response that critics did. The game was widely criticised for an unfocused campaign, microtransaction filled multiplayer, and overall lack of Master Chief, of course, the series' main protagonist, and a character that's as visually iconic and culturally significant as your You'll find in any video game. The sales for Halo 5 just weren't at the levels that the series had enjoyed in the past, shipping an estimated 5 million units. It was a huge drop off from Halo 4, and yes, it is indeed less than the sales of Halo 3 ODST, which is effectively a spin off title. So let's keep going with those figures then. Microsoft were really keen on talking about their data, their sales figures back in the days of the 360 because the figures were amazing. They were very impressive figures. Now, they don't share them at all. It's a complete uh, 180. Um, so they just, they just don't. <laughs> Microsoft don't want to talk about them as much. So that's kind of, that's just the first interesting point. As for gameplay, Halo One ultimately one of the pioneering FPS yep. games for Trend a lot say. of people. Yeah, hugely successful. How much have they moved on since? Well, that's up for you to decide. But as far as I know, yeah. Well, Liam very interested. kindly has added to this to the little script here. Halo Halo Four added iron sights and sprinting. Ooh. So that's what we've that's what we've got um, since Halo Four. It's been the same game over a long span of time, and it's just a different set of people are working on it now, and that's not a good situation really. It's a very similar game every time, mechanically, you know, uh, mechanically speaking, and that's you know that's kind of what happens if you've yeah. released you know another instalment in a series. It's going to be very similar. You think that it's a winning formula, stick to it and sell well, and that's what Call of Duty do, and that's how they sell yeah. well. But this, this is the whole point of this discussion, it's not selling well. It's yeah. not been doing so great for them lately. Um, is there anything they can do to fix that? Well, let's find out. <laughs> While there's no concrete reason that Halo's success might be waning, it might have something to do with the Xbox One sales as a console. Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4 were all on the Xbox 360, which was a wildly successful console that sold really well. Halo 5 is on Xbox One, which is, well, it's not a wildly successful console that sold really well. With less people actually owning the console, of course, less people will then buy the game. Then there's the impact that Bungie's departures had on the series, and with different people developing the game, of course you'll notice the difference in the gameplay. Another common opinion is the franchise's signature gameplay, which was once a template for FPS games, has become somewhat stale, with newer games advancing the FPS formula in new ways. You know, with jetpacks and war running and fun stuff like that. Overwatch invigorated competitive multiplayer last year with its colourful art style and varied characters. Titanfall 2 and Doom 
both had razor sharp gameplay and exciting campaigns and co-op play is included in so many games now it can hardly be considered a groundbreaking feature. Crucially though Halo 5 didn't do anything differently from the series established formula while a bunch of other games which were inspired by Halo took that formula and reworked it in new and exciting ways. Say what you want about Destiny but Halo's fingerprints are all over the shooting mechanics in that game and it's perhaps the one thing that saved it from being a total disaster. It would be in Halo's best interest if 343 found a way to make its gameplay seem fresh again. They need to recapture what made Halo 1, 2 and 3 so wildly popular and successful but do it in a new way with new ideas and new mechanics. So Microsoft isn't going to drop Halo anytime soon, that's not going to happen. It's a huge franchise, it's a very successful franchise. Sony have kind of basically dropped Uncharted, that is from what I can mm -hmm. From what, from what you can gather, they're just not going to make Uncharted games, at least for a few years yet. Maybe that's the kind of approach that Microsoft could take, just kind of put the series on pause and really put a lot of time and effort into rejuvenating the franchise. It looks like Xbox have got this whole thing at the moment where they're very pro-developer and yeah. things like that. So Which is cool. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully with their own development team, 343, they can give them a little bit more creative freedom and make sure that the next time we see the Halo series, it'll be on a console that's selling better or with a bigger push because you know Halo 5 didn't have the big push maybe all it is is that Bungie took a lot of the fans of Halo with them with Destiny and how when you were a kid and playing Halo you might get into a bit more competitive shooting or co-op shooting and stuff like that and a lot of that gets offered in Destiny. Destiny's a bit more of a an online atmosphere, a bit more of an environment as a lot of It's uh, new as well. That's that, exactly That would have tempted a lot of people over. Yeah, but it takes, it retains a lot of the best bits of Halo, yeah. a lot of the mechanics and things like that, and it moves them over. I think the point earlier on as well about the fact that the Xbox One sale, the install base of the Xbox One just isn't anywhere near as what it was with the Xbox 360. That is a massive factor. Mm. There's less of a, a tidal wave of energy behind the, the Halo 5 when it landed on Xbox One. And Microsoft had their own problems trying to reinvigorate the Xbox One the con as a console without having to you know market Halo 5 and put all their efforts and focus onto Halo 5 they were trying to course correct the Xbox One and there was a lot of other things going on when Halo 5 arrived and I think that's that's a huge huge part of it one major point I find with Halo that always sticks with me is the kind of the distance between the cinematics and the trailers and it all is a lot of gravity, a lot of a lot of grim brown greys and all this military imagery. It's all very dark and atmospheric. And then you play the game, and there's like grunts like running around the bright bright blue grenades. Yeah, like squawking at you, like what? I, it's very like a huge mismatch. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit goofy, isn't it? It is a bit goofy. Yeah, and exactly. And then the trailers very are colourful. Like, yeah, very like Inception horns. Boom. Yeah. Master Chief's little This is shadow. the end. It's, yeah, this is yeah. it. Someone always, someone or like a bomb flying through space every time, <laughs> and then you get into it, and it's like there's you gate crash some grunts having like a yeah. birthday party. <laughs> One last interesting thing to note here is the similarities all this has with the Gears of War series. Epic Games, the original developers behind Gears, left the series after the third game. So as with Halo, Microsoft created a new studio called The Coalition to handle anything Gears related. The Coalition developed Gears of War 4, which also has an 84 rating on Metacritic. And like Halo 5 and Halo 3 ODST, it sold less copies in Gears of War Judgment, another spin-off title. Gears of War 4 is considered a good game, but it's seen as a largely unnecessary sequel, which doesn't do anything new or interesting with the core gameplay loop. Now, does that sound familiar or what? But if you ask us, it's about time Microsoft just invested in new IP, or at the very least, did something fresh with their tentpole franchises. Or they'll just end up driving the likes of Halo, the mighty iconic Halo series, into the ground. So are you a massive Halo fan? Do you still think the series is fine? Or do you want to see some rejuvenation? Do you want to see freshening up of the Halo series? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. There's some more content right here for you, and a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.